experience of most people. Some of uh, the, the fears that were expressed throughout the week just don't jive with the facts. I hope people the next morning walked outside and the birds were chirping and the sun was out. Good morning, good to be with you on this beautiful uh, Saturday morning and uh, let me start with my soul talk with some good news today. I am thrilled to announce my running mate, US Senator Tim Kaine, a man who's devoted his life to fighting for others. That's what Mrs. Hillary Clinton tweeted yesterday about her uh, vice president uh, nominee. And that is a running mate and uh, she and him, they're going to appear together in um, coming Monday in the Philadelphia Democratic uh, National Convention. And uh, there are some bad news. We all know yesterday, the Munich, Germany, nine uh, people were shot dead by an 18 year old kid and 14 people were wounded. And just in this morning, there is a 31 people were killed and more than 160 people wounded in a blast in Kabul, Afghanistan, where the peaceful protesters were protesting against the government and a bomb rips through the protest. So our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and the families in uh, Munich, Germany and uh, Kabul, Afghanistan. Why this is all happening? This is only a 18 year old kid. What he knows about the world or what he knows about the religion? We don't know, right? But uh, the police in uh, Germany said this kid has nothing to do with Islamic State or a terrorism. He is a kind of a depressive uh, kid and is a deranged basically. And however, he also researched about the mass shootings around the world. That's what the police said. And we don't know how he got this a long rifle. And what he did was that is very uh, pathetic. He hacked the Facebook and he posted a, a status uh, claiming that there's a McDonald's in a Olympia shopping mall in Munich going to give a free away. So there's a lot of uh, giveaways. So a lot of children were there. Basically, he shot the children and he himself is a child. We don't know why this is all happening, right? So this is all happening because you have uh, only control over three things in your life. The thoughts you think, the images you visualize and the actions you take. That's what the Jack Canfield said. Because whatever you are going to think, that is your thought process. The thought process actually will give you imagination to visualize what you are going to see. Then subsequently you are going to do that action. So the basically you have only three things to control in your life. The thoughts you think, the images you visualize and the actions you take. But while the saying is really beautiful, but many will disagree. They will say sometimes you have no control over the thoughts that pop up in your mind or the images you see in your environment, right? They may be right, but uh, you can actually control this, how you can control it. That's why you need to train your mind through the meditation in order to have the ability to control yourself. All right. So that's the most important thing. Whatever you think that is what going to visualize and whatever you visualize that is what going to happen in action. Therefore, train your mind, control your thoughts through a meditation and a positive thinking and a yoga. All right. So with that, I'll say everybody, have a great day because I already finished my 10 mile running on my, on my way to my biking, then I have to swim. So with that, my weekend ritual will end. All right. So once again, everybody have a great day and see you all later. Bye bye.